The U.S. is crumbling from within. Demonstrations, riots and violence from coast to coast. Police and protesters packing the streets of our country. City after city, crowds, turning riotous, chaos outside the White House. Some shooting off fireworks and setting cars and buildings on fire, including the historic St. John's Church. In Philadelphia smashed up storefronts, protesters throwing rocks and Molotov cocktails at police. Row of cars and flames fires burning near the White House even in the Church of Presidents. At least 44 cities established curfews overnight. National Guard activated in 21 states and the District of Columbia to help keep the peace. Protests are breaking out in at least 140 cities across the country over the weekend. Overnight curfews went into effect across the country and had little the effect in some major cities. In New York, 345 protesters were arrested Saturday night, including Chiara de Blasio, daughter of New York City's Mayor Bill de Blasio. National Guard troops now activated in 21 states in Washington, D.C. to control crowds and looting. The most fundamental element of the social contract between the government and the people is cracking. That's the obligation of the government to keep its citizens safe. For that, we surrender a portion of our freedom and wealth to the government for the collective good. The social contract has failed because governments are nothing more than a collection of human beings that have been given a level of power and authority over others. Power and authority put in the hands of humans will always fail, eventually morphs into the desire to accumulate more power and authority. The age-old saying power corrupts has been around forever because it's true. The current situation has long since changed from being about Floyd being killed. It's now a blatant attempt to accumulate as much power as possible. The fools in Antifa and the ultra-right wing are both playing right into the hands of the people that want to accumulate more and more power. Just like with the sheep literally begging to be locked down from CV-19, so too will the sheep literally beg for martial law to be implemented, first on a city-by-city -city basis. But the people pulling strings are being smarter this time. Instead of focusing the looting and violence in the ghettos, it's heading out into the suburban areas. Walnut Creek, California, got hit hard two nights in a row. Santa Monica got hit. There are rumors of looting being scheduled, on social media, no less, all along the San Francisco Peninsula over the next several nights. This will lead to suburban sheep demanding martial law. State governors will reluctantly and with great sorrow make the declaration statewide. And once imposed, with the power that gives them, martial law will not be easily discontinued. Antifa, short for anti-fascists, is an umbrella term for far-left-leaning militant groups that resist neo-Nazis and white supremacists at demonstrations. So says the mainstream media outlets. The problem is, all I get when I research Antifa is photographs of masked, tattooed white people dressed in black setting fires, smashing windows, spray-painting walls, and trying to kill people with crude weapons. Who is erasing all of the documentation of Antifa resisting neo-Nazis and white supremacists? Someone needs to get to the bottom of this. Mysterious pallets of bricks have been filmed throughout major riot hotspots across the country, in what appears to be more evidence that organized groups are using the George Floyd protests to incite chaos and terrorism throughout the US. So, who's donating the pallets of bricks to these riot-ravaged areas? I still have not heard from one mayor or governor, stating they will open an investigation into what organization is placing pallets of bricks in cities used for the sole purpose of destruction. Surely there's surveillance footage, and surely they aren't being brought in by hand. Start checking camera footage, run license plates. Every square block of America is under video surveillance 24 hours a day, with permanent record thereof, and nobody has footage of the flatbed delivering and unloading pallet loads of bricks. If these deliveries continue without being detected or hunted down via the ubiquitous surveillance cameras everywhere, then it's clearly the state. Why? Who knows? But there's no way you can get away with this in our surveillance state without government approval and knowledge. Perhaps an effort to convince potential 3%ers into believing the state is so inept. Cops can track you down using facial recognition, cameras everywhere, but the tent on truck with a crane that unloaded this is invisible. The very fact that the CIA and FBI does not know who these people are almost proving that they are in on it. They can track me walking out of my house from space, yet, they don't know who to arrest. Give me a break. Somebody in the deep state wants this to happen. My guess is they planned it to happen. If these deliveries continue without being detected or hunted down via the ubiquitous surveillance cameras everywhere, then it's clearly the state. There is a conscious, organized effort to hide the funding, organization, and logistics of Antifa. With surveillance cameras everywhere, it's not that hard to review the video and capture the license plate of a vehicle dropping off a load of bricks. I presume that law enforcement is not interested in confirming their instincts. In fact, surveillance cameras have been removed. The Antifa are useful idiots. They are patsies. No way they delivered the bricks in such a neat and organized package. 
I think they are being set up to create chaos, and that will give the government an excuse to put the cities under martial law, or remove more civil rights, and start surveilling everyone. Trump just spoke and said if the mayors cannot control the looters and rioters with the National Guard, he will send in the US military. Soldiers patrolling the streets. All we need now is a few cartels, and we are in Mexico. The pandemic never envisioned a full reopening of the economy. So getting mobs to burn down stores that will never be rebuilt or restocked is the next best thing. Anybody finding it interesting that they're considering ending lockdowns just in time for civil unrest? Only three weeks ago, it was criminal to open your beauty salon. The owner went to jail. Only a few days ago, marching in public was basically murder. Now it's brave and just or something. How convenient for Antifa and the Soros Stooges that everyone is now obliged to wear masks. Today, we are told, again, to give them enough room to destroy, and though mass riots occur every night, there are no mass arrests. Those arrested for arson, grand theft, looting, etc., are paid by Justin Timberlake to get out of jail so they can do it all over again. All this feels scripted. It's all too clean. And events seem to flow nicely from one to the next. The plan is to bring out US troops under the guise of riots and make the US an authoritarian army-based security state where your constitutional rights are limited because the military or some person of authority says so, like China. Perpetual riots will give the pretext for putting troops on the street permanently to bring about law and order. The Rockefeller and Gates gang want China-style rule, no matter how they get it CV-19 or race riots. The new Zijist USA has to become like China in order to compete against China. Which means, the masses must behave and conform like the people in China. The social distancing, compulsory mask psyop and lockdowns are examples of broad suspension of individual rights. These are paid riots, on tour, with a production team. They are traitors. This is a planned enemy insurrection that has been mapped out for years. There is no longer any doubt. Soros wants a color revolution in America, just like in Ukraine. These events are all planned and bought to action with the complicity of our governments. These are not coincidences. These events are carefully planned to train the next generation of communist thugs to terrorize the middle class and small business owners. We are under attack. The idea that there is anarchy because of a few abusive cops is also propaganda. Most people have been indoctrinated in our country. Puppets of society. There are other forces that pull the strings, a puppet master, or so to speak. The ultimate goal is and has always been about control. Our system is not perfect by any means, but if it is destroyed, the system that will replace it will be even worse. Someone or something else will rise in power and control the masses. The pandemic was one good excuse to blame for the current recession, which needs bailouts and buybacks to rescue stock markets. Then riots provide the next reason to blame for the current recession, which needs more bailouts to rescue the economy and bring in martial law after bailouts come cannibalistic predatory capitalism, where big corporations swallow up little mom and pop businesses and another mass destruction of the middle class. The Fed with their asset inflation and the creation of the wealth gap is the powder, Soros and Antifa are the matches, and the mainstream media are the cheerleaders. These riots are part of the planned coup that is underway. Forcing Trump to essentially declare martial law, getting people to beg for it. These riots are an organized FBI and CIA operation. No one will get busted. CV-19 wasn't working to keep the economy shut down, so race riots are going to be used to keep cities and economies shut down. The USA lost the petroller folks. CV-19 equals, petroller flu. China has all the oil in the world and a stable economy to keep one belt one road expanding and growing. The UK and EU royalty have decided to permanently depress and eventually break apart America in 10 years. They are creating or at least attempting to create a forced news each geist of perpetual chaos, security state, and lockdowns. It's a forced meme. The plan is to bring out US troops under the guise of riots and make the US an authoritarian army-based security state where your constitutional rights are limited because the military or some person of authority says so, like China. Perpetual riots will give the pretext for putting troops on the street permanently to bring about law and order. The Rockefeller and Gates gang want China-style rule, no matter how they get it CV-19 or race riots. We are at a point in world history where software nerds, old merchant families, and banker bookkeepers are openly seeking dictatorial power to rule from the shadows like Voldemort's crew. Nobody in the West today has the balls or will to openly grab power and play the role of Caesar and establish dominion over his country like China's military authoritarian Emperor Z. For all the talk, Trump is no authoritarian, just a 4chan meme. The global banking cabal lost the petroller and the trade war. Effeminate, weak riots, troops on the street, and disease are all they got to sigh up the masses, just like the 18th century economies. If you lose a spice route, your central bank, and economy collapse, all you got is the plague to sigh up the masses. 
the USA lost the Petrobler, so now the military is now being turned on its citizens, just like the corrupt late Roman Republic, unfortunately, we have no Caesars to save us. The globalist meme has come true. The West is ruled by a pack of beta globalists, who can only rule through sneak false flags and deceptions like CV-19, race riots, etc. Emperor Xi simply says, I am the glorious supreme leader of China, and he gets his way. To do that, you must follow psyops with actual skull cracking and genocide of domestic homeland populations to drive fear. Nobody in the West has the stomach to investigate what's going on and put to death traitors, banksters, etc., and bring about order. We are stuck with the cowardly globalist rule of perpetual anarchy, limited innovation, and consumption for the conceivable future. Who established and now owns the Fed? Who owns the propaganda mainstream media and social media? Who owns the center of cultural perversion, Hollywood? Who owns and controls our governments? Who are you not allowed to criticize? Who is the deep state that rules over us? Why is the elephant in the kitchen so rarely even discussed? Answer those questions, and you have a chance to be free. Ignore them and welcome to a modern version of serfdom. Until you know where to march, your charade parades are just that. You have to remove the banking cabal, first and foremost, the real virus. You have to know why. You have to know where. You have to know how. You have to know who. You have to know what you are doing. None of these people marching know what they are doing and who the real virus is. They don't know anything. That is dangerous. Honestly, does anyone think that the massive funding for this anarchy isn't funded by George Soros and his infinite number of front organizations? He stated that his primary goal in his lifetime is the destruction of the United States. He's serious, and we better start engaging this pose. Starting with the president, all the government, Congress, police, armed forces need to recognize who the boss is. We, the people, are. No more of this need to dominate. You are our public servants. Behave as such. Now here are our instructions. 1. We want all our troops home. 2. We will pay no taxes until you've taken back our trillions from the banksters and the military industrial complex. 3. Scrap the Fed and the CIA. 4. Police to be drawn from the people, like juries. 5. Proper money with copper pennies, silver dollars, and gold eagles. That's for starters. If you can deliver on that, we'll elect you again. Otherwise, the rioting will continue until you learn who the master is, and you'll all go to jail. This was everything inside me channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy.